Hyacinth has been a major problem at RDBS Port Dam, from its negative impact on the aquatic ecosystem to spoiling the area's tourism appeal. Also a danger to recreational users as it covered more than 40% of the surface of the dam. But with the help of Rhodes University, the tide is turning. In the beginning of 2019, and we released insects every week, about 10,000 a week, and they built up. And so the plants, all that insect feeding has resulted in the plants going brown. The hyacinth is rapidly disappearing. Courtesy of the neo weevils and the water hyacinth plant hopper. But the unintended consequence the closure of a 20 million run operation that harvested the hyacinth and turned it into manure. More than 30 people have lost their jobs. We currently find ourselves now without um, any hyacinth that we could harvest. Therefore, we need to move into a different dam where there is full infestation. And that in itself costs um, a lot. And obviously, the, the employees in the local community are currently without employment. The hyacinth, though, will not be completely eradicated. We aim to reduce the levels of invasive species, um, in this case water hyacinth, to a manageable level. Professor Kutie and her team are now experimenting with other hyacinth infested dams like Rodeplat, as well as rivers in Gauteng, Mpumalanga, KwaZulu Natal and the Western Cape. Isaac Masemola, SAPC News, RTBS Port Dam, Northwest.